Hey guys, I hope you are well. Um, I noticed that um, there are uh, some people that are selling uh, NXT. Um, some uh, a big piece, others uh, some even ever everything. You know, even though they believe in the long term prospects of uh, NXT um, yeah they try to trade it they think it's relatively high today and will be able to buy back cheaper later or and or they want to <coughs> lock in some profits <coughs> having uh, gone through a terrible bear market <coughs> and uh, being relieved that the price finally recovered from thousand uh, Satoshi was the low to uh, five thousand they, they they get rid of their coins um so but, well those that get rid of it some I don't believe in a project anymore so of course that makes sense and i think it was a wise move to be able to wait for the bear market to end um, and to sell on a rebound <clears throat> but if you still believe in a project then um i think it's very uh, risky to uh try to um uh, sell and buy back later um I mean, <clears throat> it makes sense to do that with a part of your uh, NXT uh, because indeed the price just went up a lot and the odds are actually in your favor that you will be able to buy back on a correction. Um, because nothing goes up in a straight line, there are always corrections, so when s something s has just gone up a lot, in the case of NXT coming from 1000 the low, uh, to it's now four thousand, but at the, it was five thousand five hundred, eh? uh, and you have to also take into account that you also have not only the price rise, but you also get extra coins, other coins. Eh? Um, so, <coughs> so even if you sell your NXT, uh, you still have uh, other coins that you will get later, and that has a value too. So if you make the total a uh, sum. Uh, not only has the price of NXT gone up to say 1,000 to 5,000, but also, and now 4,000, but also, let's say you can sell these other tokens later for maybe also uh, 4,000 Satoshi. So in fact, NXT has actually gone up from, from 1,000, not to 4,000, but to 8,000 right now. Huh? Um, ah, but of course, you only get half uh, other token because the snapshots are only now midway. Huh? So it's not like 4,000 plus 4,000 Satoshi, but it's like 4,000 plus 2,000 Satoshi eh? that you will get later for half an other token. And so that's an estimate. You, you don't know what the value of an other token will be, but you have to put an estimate on it uh, to estimate the total value of your holdings right now. And, um, <coughs> and so if it just went up NXT from 1,000 to then 6,000 Satoshi, in one month or two months time yeah of course it's a six folding of your uh, investment that's a very uh, if you did things correctly then you are overexposed now and you just you need to sell some but um <clears throat> that's only if you did things correctly of course if you didn't sell anything during the bear market and bought more uh because you estimated uh, that the risk uh, uh, was uh, lower to buy at such a low uh, anyway uh, <laughs> you can sell a little bit sell everything now is just not uh, rational um, it's not rational because there is a small chance uh, let's say 20-30% um, that um, <clears throat> there is no decent correction and it continues to grow to not uh, 6,000 but 10,000 or even higher uh, Satoshi eh? or, or it could, could go much higher in fact eh? Uh, it could go straight to hey, the combination of the value of the NXT plus order could go, go straight to double easily, eh? 12,000. 12, um, so, uh, and, and if we do get the bubble a la Ethereum, it will be not 12,000, it will be 50,000. Eh? Uh, like, and so, and then this has, then that's a disaster. If you sold now at 5,000 Satoshi, uh, um, um, in the hope of buying back later, then um, you will. Uh, ah, you can really miss out uh, a ten folding of your investment. 
because it becomes very very difficult to buy back in if the price is running away I really hate that and it's very hard to do that uh, and, and because you can also be that's also a great way to lose money and then you say okay fuck uh, it's going back up and, and and I missed the train and I have to buy back in at a higher price yeah but you don't know for sure whether it will continue to rise it may well be the top and then it falls back and help you lose again money so that's why uh, a buy and hold strategy makes a lot of sense especially when you just had a long bear market uh, in the case of NXT it was terrible eh? it was a very 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 long bear market of course this is only the case if the fundamentals are still strong eh? if you believe that to be the case so the people that sell now to get out because they don't believe the fundamentals are strong anymore yeah that makes a lot of sense but if you still believe the fundamentals are strong or stronger than your alternative investments because eh, in the end we have to invest our money eh? we don't have a choice in that and so uh, if you even go out to bitcoin or to fiat that's also an investment eh? so the question always is is this investment uh, what is the best investment the best risk reward ratio and, um, and 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 of course the fundamentals need to be okay and i think that's the case for uh, NXT in order, I think the fundamentals are strong compared to the competition, compared compared to the other other investments that I am aware of. Um, uh, so so um, and um, I also uh, yeah someone that I really liked. Uh, he's exiting a cryptocurrency. Uh, he doesn't believe in it anymore, and um, I think. Uh, uh, but I think he makes a lot of uh, mistakes in uh, in in his uh, logic. Of course, I mean you have to follow your feelings, eh? um, and if you just feel not comfortable anymore with investment, it, you're totally justified to leave eh? uh, and to sell. Of course, but um, if you believe things that are not true about something and that's why you exit an investment then i think that's a mistake so um uh yeah this person says that uh, he doesn't think that uh, actually cryptocurrency offers that much more uh, value compared to fiat and this, this these are the fundamentals of course of cryptocurrency and uh yeah if and so he thinks that the purpose of uh, money is uh, that it should just tra be for to transact money and um, not to store value. <coughs> and of course, yeah, that's a big uh, fundamental. Um, I, I disagree with that. I really think uh, money uh, can also serve the purpose uh, as, a, as a store of value. Um, and actually, that's the goal of money. Good money can do that with good money you can receive in exchange for products or services and save and keep without having to um uh, and have a have a very high chance to preserve your value of course it's there's always risk you can never exclude that but a very high chance is what you expect for money eh? that it preserves its value with a very high chance and 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 so i think that's like with fiat you don't you don't have that you have a very high chance to lose your purchasing power uh, but what's nice about fiat is that you will likely uh, you, the chance is very low that you will lose more than let's say 10 percent per year <clears throat> that rarely happens um, you do lose five percent every year uh, but it's very constant. Huh? It's very constant. Uh, uh, allez. <laughs> Compared to cryptocurrencies, um, fiat uh, uh, cryptocurrencies can lose you a lot more money in one year. Um, but on average, uh, they go up in value, uh, whereas uh, fiat goes down in value. So, so as a store of value, I do think uh, that's important. Uh, <clears throat> uh, an important feature of money and uh, cryptocurrency does offer that and uh, um, I think that's a great advantage other 
uh, advantages of cryptocurrency is that it, it, it transacts much faster than the traditional banking system. If you want to send money over the world with Bitcoin and other cryptos, uh, people receive it immediately. That's not the case with uh, bank account transfers. Uh, it takes much longer. And it's also a lot cheaper uh, with Bitcoin and other cryptos. Um, you pay now with Bitcoin 20 cents for a transaction, uh, 20 dollar cents or euro cents. Okay, that's much higher than it used to be, but um, that's still extremely cheap because it's independent of the amount you're sending. Eh? So you can send a million dollars uh, worth of Bitcoin. It also costs you only 20 cents for that transaction. That's nothing. Eh? And um, um, so, yeah, the only thing where fiat is uh, better uh, is uh, as a token of value eh, to estimate uh, uh, the value of something. It will take a long time before cryptocurrencies are stable in purchasing power and can also be functional to quote prices in. But in the world of computers, this is all automatically converted in the background. When I send Bitcoin, I just say, okay, I want to send so much euro and automatically the, the app says how much Bitcoin that is and you just send. So this is easily overcome. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, and, 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 and for NXT order, uh, for me the fundamentals are um, have changed. Uh, it used to be that NXT was aiming to be the replacement, uh, to be better than Bitcoin, to become money. Uh, and that was the shared uh, goal of the community. Um, of most people, eh? uh, but um, yeah, uh, that has changed. Uh, NXT with Ardor has become um, uh, the goal is to become a, a platform uh, for other cryptocurrencies uh, and other um, uh, decentralized applications to flourish on. And Ardor itself will actually not be a currency; it will only be used to validate transactions and. Um, uh, and I like that uh, vision uh, because I'm interested to start my own cryptocurrency and, 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 I, and I think that makes a lot of sense. I think it makes a lot of sense to start your own coin, just like it makes a lot of sense to start your own company. If you're free to do that, that's a very wise. Sometimes it's much smarter to join another company, but some people just want to start their own company eh? and, 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 and the great wealth. Uh, is uh, created for these people if they are successful, but also for the world as they provide valuable services or products uh, that uh, everybody wants and, 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 and improves our lives. And the same will be true for currency. So, uh, but, but yeah, so, so I think uh, that's a great offer, um, a great aim uh, of Ardor uh, that uh, I fully support and I want to be a part of. Uh, and. Yeah, um, it, I think it has the right foundations. I think the biggest problems in cryptocurrencies today are that they are uh, extremely expensive. Uh, uh, it's it, the proof of work system uh, makes that you need an inflation of about 5% per year um, uh, to secure the network, just to secure the network and validate transactions. That's a very high cost, and, and you cannot lower this. It needs to be constant. Um, Bitcoin eh, lowers the inflation every year, but then they want that this gets compensated but by raising the transaction fees, eh? uh, because otherwise the network is not secure anymore. So you can't escape that. If you have a very expensive way to validate transactions, that cost has to be somehow a has to come somehow uh, from somewhere and it comes from uh, the coin holders eh? or the coin users. So um, NXT has uh, the right, right foundation of that by being a proof of stake coin. It's still the same story um, as it was two years ago or two year and a half years ago when I started investing. The, those foundations are very, very good still today. Um, but, <clears throat> uh, uh, and uh, it also addresses other fundamental problems in the cryptocurrency world, 
which is that the most cryptocurrencies don't have a business model, uh, and that's a big problem too. Um, that um, the the coin, um, the, the developers, marketeers, they are not really uh, paid. Uh, uh, they are paid based on donations, and um, and that's not working very well. And, and what you see is that. <coughs> Um, the, 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 the interests of the developers are not aligned with the interests of the coin holders and creates big conflicts in, in Bitcoin uh, today but um, uh, or, or the development is very stagnant uh, not much is really created because the developers uh, are not incentivized enough uh, financially uh, so some new coins have, have broken with that model uh, Ethereum being the leader has an inflation. A lot of that also goes through the proof of work system, sadly, but they also are, have the correct vision to transfer to a proof of stake coin so that they lose that expense. But they have a lot of, they create a lot of other uh, coins uh, that go to marketing and development to expand the coin. So they do that very well and uh, Dash does that also good, though um, quite limited still. Eh? <coughs> and they are. Yeah, they have a very high cost in the proof of work also, and that will stay. Uh, it seems they don't have plans to transfer to a proof of stake coin, though have, they have built a whole proof of stake coin on top of it, basically, uh, by uh, uh, so that you have voting power with the coin to make uh, decisions. Um, anyway, uh, that's a quite complex structure, actually, they've, uh, they've built. By trying to combine proof of work and proof of stake, you get a, a complex system that's not really necessary. Um, so business models uh, are important, and NXT now met with the other release also has uh, issued more coins for the development team uh, and, and, and the marketing, so that they can uh, grow the coin and, and get paid decently. That's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> but of course, when you start your own coins on the order platform, you are totally free to choose your uh, business model and, and uh, a lot more can be done uh, with this, I think. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, wow, it's so hot here. It's, uh, it's very hot here, as you can see. Uh, it's like 30 degrees here inside. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was my short video about um, NXT and uh, Ardor and, and cryptocurrencies in general. Um, uh, my advice is to uh, hold very tight. Um, uh, but, of course, I could be proven wrong. It's very high risk, too. Good luck. Bye.